Charlie? Charlie! Where did that jumpy go? Charlie, where did you go? I went to the supermarket for only 10 minutes and I come back and you're gone. Uh, I guess I have to make a new friend. Alakazam, Sammy Kazoo, make me another zombie. Woohoo! Hello, I'm going to call you Charles too. Now you stay right there. Don't go anywhere. I have to put away the groceries. Birds! What up, players? We're Boss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to another video where we're going to be painting up another zombie in an alternate color scheme. Well, there you are, Charlie. Yesterday we did this green, Frankenstein-y, kind of cartoony, uh, very awesome looking zombie color scheme. Today's skin tone is going to be more of a natural Caucasian looking freshly turned skin color that uh, I'm, I think is absolutely terrific. You see the left side of his face does look a little odd because it is actually a skull. Either it got flayed away, maybe that's what I'm going to say, his skull got flayed away and then the right side of his skull is still a face. Yeah, I was wondering why, like, like the right side of his skull has lips, cheeks, a chin, and look, the left side is all Crypt Keeper. Terror, terror. So, yeah, you know, since I got you guys, my captive audience, let's put some Agrax Earthshade on that mug. <laughs> Literally on that mug. <laughs> and put some Agrax Earthshade on this mug. And like any application of wash, we're going to dab enough onto the model that it gets onto the, onto the surface and then falls naturally into wherever it's going to go. You might have seen a little tutorial that I did on the tongue. It is for painting on a blue a sickly tongue possibly he drowned possibly he got poisoned uh, just not the natural color tongue that you would want to have that's because if i had gone with like a red tongue i think it would have been too uh, close in color to their peachy rosy skin tone so i went with something totally different and i'm very pleased with it all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video the only colors you're going to need are rackarth flesh raiklin flesh shade and cadian flesh tone the rest of the model, uh, I didn't talk about painting because honestly, there are so many variations of Dead Walker zombies out there. If you like the skin color, you can copy it and you don't have to worry about wasting your time learning about uh, anything else on this model. We're just talking about skin tones with these videos, guys. So uh, that's it for t uh, the intro. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Hey, if you are thinking about collecting some zombies, about starting or expanding your Dead Walker zombies horde in your Soul Blight Gravelord's army, then I hope you consider clicking the affiliate link in the description. It will take you to a uh, place where you can buy the, um, a box of Dead Walker Zombies for $9 off on retail. Usually they're $60. You can get it for $51. Great deal. Expand your horde. Get some great looking models to play with. And uh, let's get on to the rest of the video. All right. So the first color we're going to work with is Rackarth Flesh. I was thinking maybe I'll paint up this guy's trousers and his helmet and the branch sticking out. But I figure if you're really working on these models in the correct order they're supposed to be, then uh, you would do the skin first. Or that's the way that I would do it. Skin first. And like I said, uh, in the introduction, every every zombie is different. So this zombie that I am painting right now, he's got his legs, his lower legs showing. Your zombie may have feet, may have toes, may have maybe bent over and uh, um, what's the word like hunched over under the weight of a like a casket I remember thinking like what is what is going on with this design this design looks so weird 
and uh, the weirdness is actually because you think about it it's somebody's buried they have them buried upside down because they're afraid of them resurrecting and clawing their way up out of the ground so they're buried like this and then they drive the stake into them it goes through the lid of the coffin and then down through their chest and then they decorate the top of the coffin lid with shields and uh, beautiful stuff like candles and then over time grass and stuff grows all over beautiful mud there's dirt mud mound and then they just pop out of the ground and start walking around and they still got that little bit of the coffin lid with them so th those aren't the, the best to paint with if you're doing a tutorial that's why i decided to go with these more classic standing and shambling zombie figures This is actually the closest to the style that I paint with uh, of zombies that, I, that I've made before. The only difference is besides Raclan Flesh Shade for the wash, I would also add in possibly like Drew Kai Violet, some dark purple or blues to really get the, that a bruised look. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna come back. Now that you can see what it's supposed to look like, I'm gonna do the, uh, that, that tree trunk or whatever is sticking out of him. I'll do his pants and then I'll do his helmet. And then we'll come back for the next step. All right, players. So I've gone off and painted up the rest of him. Very limited amount of excess bits and gubbins on this model. Like when you consider some of these other ones with the coffin lid on the back, of like the bell and is this a little picket fence it's so weird some roses oh my gosh it's gonna be a nightmare to paint this simple man simple jack is just got his some roots a little a little smart fetching chapeau helmet and uh, some trousers with a rope belt and one shoe all right let's move on with it we're gonna be <coughs> painting on, I was gonna say Irex Earthshade, but it's not actually Irex Earthshade. We're gonna be using Raglan Flesh Shade. So, Raglan Flesh Shade is a beautiful reddish brown color, perfect for painting skin. When you paint it onto um, Rackarth Flesh, which is a lot paler than normal rosy skin, then it tends to make the skin look more um, like sickly and not pale uh, but it makes a good effect so like with any shade I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to drag my wash down make sure you get it in all of the recesses where there are shadows and that shade is good that wash is naturally going to just seep into those recessed areas do its thing this guy's got a tongue i haven't painted it yet and i might do something Like instead of added into this tutorial because you know you might want to paint this guy green so you wouldn't even watch this but after watching my green painting tutorial you'd be like how do i paint his tongue so maybe i'll do a separate video for that it's funny i'm doing this series right of painting videos on how to do zombies and uh, there's so many components like the rusted metal video that I released and I'm gonna probably have to do something for like the trees trees and roots are such a prominent part of the the design of these models in this range I think because they're meant to be not really buried in a big city they are meant to be buried in like a graveyard on the outskirts that's why so many of them have roots and 
things of that nature. That makes more sense anyways if like you bury your guy and like bury your family and like right outside of your cottage in the haunted forest. And then all of a sudden this creepy old lady on a wolf walks by and he's like, I kept you and the dead are coming back to life now. And then they all spring back to life. I gotta, that reminds me, I gotta paint that figure, Bella Dama Volga. This is his ex-wife, <laughs> the mother of his, un, his, uh, his children. All right, enough, enough lollygagging. So as you can see, the uh, Raikland flesh shade just very nicely goes into all of the crevices, all of the areas that you want it to. You just want to make sure it doesn't pool too heavily in any any one spot. Like imagine if I got in a big glop of it and I had splotched it here on the hand. It would almost look like he had wet fingers because all of that wash would be dripping off of these digits. So we want to make sure that we are moving it around on our paintbrush. If there's too much, then you just take the tip of your brush drag it down, get as much of that wash onto your brush as possible, and then wipe it away on your paper towel. Remember, if anything dries in a big thick pool, then you're going to have to do the catch-up work like here. See, look how bad that is. That's terrible. So we're just going to take our brush and swoosh it across. And just take our brush and swoosh it across again. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna add the Agrax Earth Shade to the rest of the model. Then I'm gonna let the model sit overnight, let all that wonderful shade dry. If you continue to paint while your wash isn't completely dry, then uh, you could be dragging and moving some of that wash around like there in his armpit, right where his chest meets his shoulder. I don't wanna move that wash around. I want it to set nicely and create a nice looking shadow there. And if anything, I will. Just pull away a little bit. There, a little bit more natural looking. All right, players, thanks for watching. Don't forget to join the Discord server where uh, we have a lot of great projects going on. If you would like to get yourself a box of Dead Walker Zombies, build these guys up and paint them for yourself, then I will include an affiliate link down below in the description. You can check it out. And uh, clicking on that link will also support Warboss Taste Studios. So if that's something you're inclined to do, then uh, I thank you for that. If you'd like to support me in other ways, you could just hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, leave me a comment, let me know how you got along with this video. And uh, thank you for taking the time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope I can make a lot of great videos for you in the future that uh, you will find of value. Uh, last thing I want to say thank you to my patrons, Mr. Sprinkle, Mr. Secondaries, Pix, Dicey Guy, Play It Painted. Thank you for supporting my studio. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video once all these washes are dry. What am I doing? I'm doing the outro and uh, I actually want to finish this guy. I'm just talking while it dries. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna set this guy under the light here. I'm on autopilot, you guys. I've been making so many videos. Let's just keep going. I'm gonna do the wash, but uh, imagine that you're working, you're actually working on 20 dead walk walker zombies, right? As soon as you finish a coat, you're just gonna set it down as soon as you finish a step. Base coat, wash, highlight. As soon as you finish one thing, set the model down, move on to the next one. So we're just going to imagine that he's been sitting here drying off and twiddling his thumbs. I was wondering, like, I was doing my intro kind of on autopilot, looking at my model, thinking he looks really sparse. Like, he doesn't look like where he should be for me to be doing an outro yet. And I realized, like, oh, yeah. Why am I doing an outro? Brother, the brother needs to be uh, painted up. And you know what I'll do since we're waiting for the shades to dry? Why don't we go on and hit him up with the, I'm gonna put my, my money where my mouth is and I'm going to apply the 
fire dragon bright, bright, bright yellow onto his helmet. Anybody who watches that outro is gonna be like, what's going on? Is there a, is there a hidden uh, after credit sequence? But yeah, the after credit sequence is the uh, rest of the video. So as I said with the, the video where I did this technique of doing rust on old corroded metal, we want that to not, we don't want the orange to overtake the brown, but we do want that looking nice and splotchy. All right, Agrax Archade. Throw that on one more time. So I'm, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm plan on doing some tutorials on the tree stuff because there's so many trees and roots. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on his, his tongue, like a quick, maybe one for the YouTube shorts. This is how you paint the zombie tongue. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, it looks like even with all my talking, some of that wash is still a little bit shiny. So I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and I'm gonna put this guy's mouth where the camera is and I'm gonna do a really quick tutorial on painting his tongue and uh, I will be right back. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little quick tutorial step away. So now what we're gonna do is paint on the highlight color of Cadian Flesh Tone. Because this is your highlight, you want to really thin this down on your wet palette and thin down the paint so that it's either thin it, thin it down with water, Lamian Medium, something that's going to make it easier to work with because we're going to be doing some very soft highlights all over this miniature. So starting from the bottom. Working on the feet. And the calves are easy because they're like a diagonal. You can just paint from the upper one side down to the lower opposite side. In this case, right to left. Interesting, so this guy, this zombie is almost going to be colored like he's still alive with his Cadian flesh tone. It's actually the most uh, terrifying kind of zombie, I think. Ones that look human or colored like human. So like I said, they've all got their own thing on their models. Some of your models aren't going to have this stump sticking through the back, so I'm going to skip that. Just like I skipped painting the trousers and the tree. I'm going to do that on my own and then make a, a separate video on how to do that. Just like I made a separate video for his tongue. Now, I've always loved painting on miniatures where they're not wearing shirts because you can really focus on the lines. You can see I'm turning him vertically. You can focus more on the lines of the anatomy, especially if he's got stuff like a tree trunk sticking out of him or a giant tree branch. If his ribs are popping through, you see where the shade, that Raglan flesh shade dried on the model. Then we're gonna go into the 
Mexico face. It almost looks like his the left side of his face is more decomposed than the right. Like that looks like a skull. Whereas the right side almost looks like a face. It's very interesting. Alright, while that while we ponder that rack our flesh, it's gonna be our final highlight on this this version of a zombie. I'm not sure what to call, it, call these videos because they're they're all zombies, but I'm gonna be doing a bunch of them in different color forms. So I can't just say how to paint a zombie. Can I? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can just call all of these how to paint a zombie. Oh, look at that, you guys. This is so cool. Using Raikland, or Rackard Flesh to highlight Cadian Flesh Tone instantly kills him, makes him dead. It takes away the healthy color on his body, instantly reverts him to a corpse. That is fantastic. Like the skin looks like it's uh, just been stretched out and desiccated in the sun. Now, if you're doing an older figure, you want your you want to create the illusion that your model is older, and just do a lot of shorter strokes where you feather that paint on, because that's going to make the skin look more stretched out. What I'm doing is I'm making these blends really smooth, doing these long strokes here, and that is going to make the skin look smoother and less diseased, less uh, old desiccated oh, look at that this is so beautiful man this makes me want to paint zombies like large scale when you're doing highlights like this you always want to draw the eye to the highest point that you're working on. So I'm only gonna to touch his knuckles, I'm not gonna to touch the back of his hand too much. I'm gonna to touch the bicep. And then for painting his chest, I'm only gonna go under his man boobs, collarbone, rib cage, the trifecta. Now because I'm using Rackard Flesh, I'm also going to use that to paint pretty much his skull here. And then his teeth, exposed teeth, and his eye. Because that side of his face is basically a skull. And that side is more of a face. That's really cool, Games Workshop design team. All right. So we're gonna call it there, guys. This is the freshly dead look. Caucasian skin tone, a little bit pinker with some beautiful highlights of Rackard Flesh. Fantastic, what a beautiful model. It's my terrible Gordon Ramsay impression. I love just absolutely stunning. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you tomorrow for uh, the next zombie skin alteration. Head to the uh, Discord before you go. Make sure you're joined up over there. And if you like a box of Dead Walker Zombies yourself, then click the link below in the description to get one at $9 off. So instead of paying full $60 retail, you're gonna be only paying 51. And uh, it's a beautiful way to bulk up your forces if you've got some zombies and uh, you wanna build up some more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.